for meritorious service and is being awarded to Dr. Carl Butner. Carl graduated from St. Mary's College in 1971 and continued on to earn an MA and PhD in microbiology and immunology, as well as an MD from the State University of New York at Buffalo. Eventually, Carl returned to his hometown of Vallejo, California to practice dermatology where he started a clinical trials group that conducted hundreds of clinical trials resulting in the development of new treatments and vaccines for a variety of skin diseases. Carl served as a chief medical officer of Dow Pharmaceutical Sciences, which was acquired by Valent Pharmaceuticals and Anacor Pharmaceuticals and later acquired by Pfizer. Along with his clinical practice, Carl is co-founder, CEO, and CMO of Dermbiont, a company focused on the cutaneous microbiome to better understand and treat skin diseases. Carl was a founding member and first chairperson of the St. Mary's College School of Science Advisory Board. Over the years, Carl and his wife Mary have strongly supported and become leading advocates for the efforts to purchase equipment for the School of Science and support students and faculty in science research at St. Mary's College. Carl's dedication to the mission is profound. Carl is thoughtful. He listens very well. And one of the signs of a great CEO or entrepreneur is somebody that listens. You have to bring out the talents in people, and that's Carl's gift. You know, it's a little bit, I think, one of the Lasallian sayings is that uh, the brothers would meet you where you are and help you get to where you want to be. And that's what they did to me, and that's a large part of the commitment I have to the college. And I've also seen my you know, children you know, uh, flourish here. Carl helped us assemble the science board, working with Roy Winsley. Carl felt that we had to get the best people we could from the School of Science. Most of the science board members, with a few exceptions, are graduates of the college. He recruited and helped us recruit terrific people like Dr. Dennis Meese, who helped us acquire the Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectrometer. This new equipment has allowed expansion of the curriculum and has allowed the faculty to do research um, studies that they would not have been otherwise been able to do. Other members of the advisory board have been very supportive and it's been a very collegial group. I've enjoyed interacting with them, getting to know them, and see their passion and excitement about what we're trying to do. Part of the reason we've had so much success raising funds to buy this equipment and maintain it is because the faculty have been involved, and Carl has taken the time to talk to faculty members. At St. Mary's, uh, science has become one of the fastest growing areas for majors. So there are ever increasing numbers of students that are interested in this, and I, I think it's a reflection of just the general awareness of the importance of technology and science uh, in, in our world. Thank you all. Um, I'm not sure why I deserve this. Um, in large part, I am who I am because of the brothers and because of St. Mary's College. And I have a lot of people to thank for that. Um, first and foremost, the love of my life, my wife Mary. We've only been married 36 years, but it's a good start. <laughs> I'd like to thank Ron Turner and Nancy Richardson, who I think nominated me for this. Uh, Ron was instrumental in the formation of the advisory committee, and Nancy has taken over as chairperson of that and brought order to it that really didn't have when I was running it. And there were enthusiastic, the whole, whole board is incredibly enthusiastic and very supportive. And Dean Wensley, who, he puts up with me and he listens to me ramble on with my ideas, and as my wife says, Carl, you have lots of ideas, some are better than others. Uh, but he listens quite patiently. It was actually Ron and Dean Wensley who first contacted me about uh, developing an uh, advisory board for the School of Science. 
Uh, soon after we formed it, we realized we have a beautiful physical facility, but for reasons I won't recount, it was built but never equipped. And, um, and so Mary and I kicked off a donation to start an endowment for the equipment for the School of Science. But then, thank you. Then Professor Leitner, believe it or not, who taught me ecology and biology, um, spent a jam term going faculty member to faculty member saying, what equipment do you need? What equipment will expand the curriculum, will support the curriculum, will make us competitive, and came up with a list of equipment. A mere $1.6 million. Nice round number. Um, and so then, you know, Ron and Roy uh, had the, um, the bold step to say, well, we aren't going to nibble around the edges. We're going to go for the big piece. And the big piece was the piece of equipment you saw, the MMR. It allows you know, scientists to look at molecules at a molecular level. It cost a little bit over half a million dollars. And then uh, Dennis Mees and his wife Janet Ralston, Dennis is an alumnus of St. Mary's, they stepped up and made the lead donation that made getting the NMR possible. And now Dennis is leading the subcommittee of the School of Science to raise the 1.1 million we need for the rest of the equipment. And I'm happy to replace that as of this week, I'm told we have 935,000 of the 1.1. So we're getting close. So if anybody has any I'll be at the door in the back. Um, and once we have that done, I think we need to focus on building the endowment so we don't get behind on equipment again. I'd like to see a few more endowed uh, faculty positions. And uh, again, I am who I am because of St. Mary's, and it's not just me, it's my family. Uh, my son, Carl Jr., uh, he has the same affliction I have with curiosity. I tease uh, Roy that they kicked him down the hall at the School of Science here at St. Mary's. He went from biology to chemistry to physics to mathematics and then on to graduate studies at UC Davis. Uh, he still got out in four years. There aren't any colleges that would allow him to do that. Um, and he now is doing a thing called computational biology at a little company in Southern California called Amgen. Um, Kate and Matt didn't wander quite as much, maybe a less um, curiosity, but um, you know, Kate got her uh, AA degree at St. Mary's and her BSN at Samuel Merritt. Uh, worked a few years at trauma, I was surgical ICU at Valley Medical Center, and then went on and got a master's in nurse practitioner. She, she picked a Jesuit school, Georgetown, we'll forgive her anyway. Um, uh, she now practices uh, in the cardiology department at a place in, down south called Stanford. Uh, you know, Matt was very focused and uh, knew what he wanted to do, and he went on to medical school and is now an internal medicine resident at UCSF. Um, even more important are my two daughter-in-laws, one of whom is here tonight, Sarah Cardosa, and the other, Emily Robbins, who's not only an alum alumnus, but also was valedictorian of her class. They made us grandparents for the first time this year. Adeline and Elizabeth, and my calculations are right, that will be class of 38 and 39. <laughs> um, the future is bright for the School of Science, I hope that as it grows and attracts smarter and smarter uh, students and faculty, they will keep an eye out for students like me, who are not academic wonders, but have a curiosity and grit. I think you know to learn science, you have to be encyclopedic. For the younger ones here in the crowd, in the crowd encyclopedia is what we had before Wikipedia and Google. <laughs> and um, I think what I have is curiosity and I have grit and I have a willingness to question um, conventional wisdom. And I think that's what it takes to apply knowledge uh, to research, discovery, and ultimately development. And so again, you know, thank you, St. Mary's.